This photo is a collage of some pictures that we took uh, from a service learning project we did at Summit High School. We went down to the Morning Star Living Center and worked with residents, and you can see the students did a bunch of different activities with the residents down there. This is my first attempt at using the Explain Everything app. This is our group this morning working on the Marshmallow Challenge. This is one of our students from Summit High School named Carly. And here's another one of our students named Lydia who transferred down to Star Valley High School. One of the things that we focus on in U.S. history is one of the four main causes of World War I. As you can see, Maine is an acronym stand for Military Alliance System, Imperialism, and Nationalism. And those are considered to be like the four underlying causes that really made Europe into like this powder keg that was just getting ready to explode. One of the things that we do in world history, we talk about some of the positive and negative effects of the Industrial Revolution. As you can see here, the big thing is the faster and cheaper production of goods, but there's some negative things as well. We see one of the negative things that I'll put in red is that we started to see bad working conditions, things like child labor start to take over. Um, we got more and more pollution as well. Finally, one of the other positive things we see is that, in general, really, although we like to sometimes romanticize it, people's quality of life and also quantity of life improved. There's a lot of economic growth as well. Finally, in our government class, one of the projects we do is where students create their own political cartoons. Um, the student is talking about the Trump administration and the Republican Party, and their treatment of sanctuary cities and their ability essentially to cut off federal funding or threaten to cut off federal funding in order to enforce immigration policy. Today is June 28th and we're doing an iPad media camp at Jackson Hole High School. We started the day doing a marshmallow challenge. In a marshmallow challenge, groups of four are given about 20 pieces of uncooked spaghetti, um, about a yard of tape, some string, and a marshmallow. And the objective is to build a, a structure as high as you possibly can that's supported without any members of the group touching it. Some of the things that our group did quite well was we communicated well, we collaborated, and I think we, we listened to each other very well. At some point, the group decided we just needed to move forward. We were running out of time, and we just decided to go with a really pretty simple structure um, that was effective. It um, wasn't the highest in all the groups, but it did span 18.5 inches, and it was pretty solid. It stayed up indefinitely. In the future, I think our group might have been better to just brainstorm before we started touching things and everything. We want to get right in and everybody wanted to start touching things and whatever. I broke a piece of spaghetti. Um, but I think in general we, we worked pretty effectively together. I had Media, Media Camp, Camp Takeaways by Suzanne, Molly, Stan, and Britt. When students do a narrated image, they reflect on a great question. Students teach, reflect, and process their learning. Narrated photos could also allow students to analyze primary sources in a deep, meaningful way without always having to write to demonstrate their understanding of a primary source. Narrated slideshows save us from student PowerPoints and allow stu teachers to assess content and not delivery skills. Above all, have no fear. Do many small, quick projects, build media literacy with content, and save it all in a portfolio. And remember, it's not done, it's due. The, the end. end.
All right, what's your name? Said Jimenez. And what do you do, Said? I am a student at Jackson Hole High School, future senior, class of 2018. Woohoo! All right, Said. Hey, I just have one quick question for you. What's something that you would like to do this summer? Uh, I'd like to go rally racing, and it's um, in which you have a low s center of gravity car, and you go and rev it up to 100, 60, 100 miles per hour, and you drift on it on the back roads. And I plan on doing this in, like the back roads of Idaho, where it's safe and I don't hurt anyone except for myself in the car. Great, thank you. What's your name? Beth Eastman. Okay. And what is one thing you would like to do this summer? One goal I have this summer is to climb Mount Moran because five years ago I attempted it and I was actually 14 months pregnant. So I didn't make it to the top. So 14 like to months retry. pregnant? Sorry, 14 weeks. <laughs> that could be burdensome trying to climb. And don't Moran. edit that out. Oh, I won't. Okay. Weeks. So you want to try and climb Moran? Yeah. With Ian? I think Without with my, Ian? my friend Jamie. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. One goal I have this summer is to climb Mount Moran because five years ago I attempted it and I was actually 14 months pregnant. So I didn't make it to... <laughs> That could be burdensome trying to climb. And don't edit Rand. that out. Oh, I won't. Okay. Weeks. So you want to try and climb Rand? Yeah. With Ian? I think Without with Ian? My, my friend Jamie. Nice. Yeah. I'm looking forward to riding my bike over uh, for 50 miles on one day this summer. That's cool. my plan. Do you have a specific route that you'd like to do? Yeah, I'll probably ride out to uh, Spring Lake and uh, back to town and then probably turn out and go like... Uh, I'd like to go rally racing. And it's... Um, in which you have a low s center of gravity car and you go and rev it up to 100, 60, 100 miles per hour and you drift on it on the back roads and I plan on doing this in like the back roads of Idaho where it's safe and I don't hurt anyone except for myself in the car. This photo shows us doing a stranger high five right beside Teton Mountaineering. This picture shows our whole group laying down for a picture. This guy was really nice and volunteered to do the piggyback ride with Britt's daughter Chloe. We finally found a shopping cart at Pearl Street Market. Scavenger hunt was a fun activity and it got us all moving around and taking interesting shots that allowed us to have some good pictures to be able to use to practice with. We could use this scavenger hunt as a way to kind of break the ice and get to know each other, or also a cool way to collect interesting photos to teach students how to use this technology, just like we did in our class.